Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand. And this is chapter four of Pitchers and Catchers, Lessons Learned. And um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is that connection between a pitcher and a catcher and the trust involved. Um, there has to be a level of connection and like this link of togetherness with such trust um, and such like devotion to each other where you're you're in it all the way. And um, I'm thinking of some friendships and family and, you know, different relationships that I have in my life. And we need that, like everything should be a pitcher catcher connection where you have the you know, let's say my inner child is, is the pitcher and my greatest sense of self is the catcher. And the catcher saying, you got this girl, you got this, you can do this, you know, you, you know what to do. And the little girl is kind of like, okay, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I trust that the catcher has got my back and I trust that the catcher is going to help me if I need any help. And um, so that's type, the type of thing that I wish I had in my everyday relationships. I really don't. Um, I've been betrayed and lied to and <clears throat> um, deceived in so many ways. And it hurts. It hurts when when the relationships we're in isn't like that pitcher catcher connection. Um, I, I strive for a pitcher catcher connection again in a, in a relationship, in a friendship, in a partnership, in a, <clears throat> you know, if it's a husband wife or, or, a, or a marital situation. Um, I really wish that I had that connection of trust between a pitcher and a catcher in my everyday relationships. So, but, uh, but I don't, and I trust that I will one day. And, um, you know, I, when you get betrayed by someone, especially a close friend, um, it hurts, it hurts to the core because you put so much investment into that person and you said, I'm there for you through thick and thin, I will be there. And then when they hurt you in such a way that they, you know, pretty much call you names such as like, well, in, incompetent almost is the word I'm thinking of that she thought she could, you know, like use me and, and use, um, the situation that we were in against me and get something for her gain. Um, and kind of said, screw you, you know, I don't care about you. I only care about myself. And man, that hurts, man, that hurts. And um, I'm gonna cry about it right now, you know, but what can you do? You just move on, you move on with your life. So, so I pray for those catcher and pitcher connections in the future uh, because I don't have that in my everyday life right now. So these are the Healing Spirit uh, Oracle Cards by Gordon Smith. <clears throat> and they look like this. And this is my rosary. Um, this is what I pray for, that whatever brought this rosary back together again from being in pieces fixes my heart like that, fixes, fixes my core like that, um, makes me feel whole, like I'm in a pitcher catcher relationship. And um, the... Um, the intention that I set for these cards today is um, becoming whole. And this is the card I drew, and it says, Heal yourself to heal the world. <clears throat> 
and I will read out of the book what they have uh, for that card. Heal yourself to heal the world. <clears throat> A heart that is filled with kindness can sometimes want to take on too much. A w the world is a big place for one person to heal. So it is best to heal your own world first. And then you will see the bigger things that concern you from a higher perspective. Spirit healers and helpers are always working to heal the world that we live in. And they are proud of you for reaching this point in your development where you have, where your compassion for others has grown to, grown so much. But now you must work with them and not on your own. Bigger problems require teamwork and they are your team now. I'm gonna read that last two sentences again because I have to take a breath and forget about the betrayal and the hurt and the pain. Bigger problems require teamwork and they are on your team now. So you love your enemies. You love them anyway. You don't forget, but you forgive. You don't let go, but you let go. Um, and you don't have to trust them. You know, if, if that's who they are, then that's who they are. But you can forgive them and you can move on with your life and you can look for better relationships in the future. Connected relationships. You know, having, having everything connected as one. Um, that's what I want. That's what I want. And I'm hoping that um, you can come on this journey with me and, you know, maybe we can find it together. <laughs>